Barry. Axie, yes. Barry. Axie, y'all better get a little bit louder than that. You know what I'm saying? How y'all girls doing today? Yes. Y'all feeling excited? Yes. Okay, what I need is house rules. Everybody has a cell phone, right? No. Who has a cell phone? Me. Who has an Instagram? Me. Write this down. This is the only time I'm gonna need you guys to use your cell phone. T E A M V I S E. Voice of the There you go. Voice of the There you go. Add me right now. I need everybody to add. There you go. Boy, see you. Boy, see you. I need that. Team boy. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have some real talk. Y'all ready for some real talk? Yeah. Y'all ain't ready for some real talk. Yeah. I see one person ready for some real talk. Y'all really ready for some real talk? Yeah. some real conversation? We're going to have some real conversation about some boys? No. No, no, boys? No. Real talk. Some girls? Some girls? No. Some peer pressure? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You see, you feel me, right? About some school? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about school about? Yeah. About family life? Yeah. Family life, right? Yeah. So we're gonna hit with one topic. Who's gonna be the first topic? The first topic we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about family. Family. Okay. Family. All of us, unfortunately, for some of us, we don't get to choose our family, right? So how do we deal with our family when we feel our family is holding us back? Talk to them. Talk to them. Well, how do we talk to our family members? Are you going to go talk to your family member like, check this out, mom? No. You ain't going to talk to me like that. <laughs> Are you going to do that? No. Wait, wait, hold on a second. One person at a time. In a respectful manner. Give me a respectful manner. Uh, mom, I understand that you're upset, but it's probably not the way to handle it right now. Woo, let's give her a big hand, like, come on. Let's do this, let's, let's, too much back, let's do this. Yeah, I like that, yeah, okay, beautiful. Okay, someone else, someone else, give me another way, respectfully, to talk to your parents. Come on. Uh, quietly, like, with an inside voice. Oh. Listen, somebody give me a negative way to talk to your parents. Yeah, she's ready to I got something. I done told my mom this this morning, go ahead. Hey, your mama. Hey, there you go. Okay, what? You got, you got something? You got something? Okay, go. Ma, let's talk. Sit down. Sit down, Ma. Now we get into the peers. What's the ages running around here? What, 12? 13. I'm 15. What we got? Sixth graders in the building? I'm not on the Oh, wait, wait, one person at a time. Can, I, can all my sixth graders yell out, hey? Hey. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> hey, represent, young girl. Can all my seventh graders yell out, Represent, young girl. Eighth graders in the building. What's good? Oh, what's poppin'? Ninth graders. Hey. I see you, girl. Sophomores. Hey. All right. Now, here is the biggest thing that you young ladies are gonna go through. The stage is called peer pressure. Can someone give me an idea what peer pressure means? Me. Your friends kind of forcing you into. Okay, awesome. Um, as you said, being forced to do something that is not you would like to do. Okay. When you're around all this temptation, it's Ooh. just pushing against you. All to be about the temptation. There you go. Maybe they're not um, forcing you to do something, but they're telling you to do it, and you're around a bunch of people who, I guess there's a cool case, and you think if you don't do it, they're going to teach you others. See, what's that called? And that's what you guys are gonna hear. You're gonna hear that all the time. Every day, you're gonna hear someone tell you something and they could be your friend. The most peer pressure you're gonna get is from your friend that you may consider your best friend. Can you keep it Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, hold on, come on, hold on, lady. Bring it back, circle, bring it back. Let's keep it 100. Can we keep it 100? Who knows about keeping it 100? Y'all sure, y'all think y'all know y'all. Are we really going to, she's like, I got that. She's all right here, boy. Oh, check it out. Are we really honestly going to always be like, I am not good to get up. No. I am a kid to kid. No. 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 We're at school, and we're sitting at the table in the quad, and then she pulls it like, she has a bag in her purse. As I say before, 
if someone is giving you something that is illegal, no one of you young ladies should be ever smoking, selling, being around any kind of narcotic. Because see, the thing about it is, you can hurt someone's feeling by saying, I don't be your friend anymore. You can hurt somebody like that. Say, because you are doing that, I cannot no longer be your friend. But when you're done, I'm still here for you. What you need to be doing, first of all, is listening to the game that I'm about to speak, because you guys are going to be in this situation. As you get older, your body matures, and you feel you getting grown, and you're seeing other people, because they have a whole bunch of likes. Just look at Cynthia's life. She just put a little bit of her skin, and all the boys are like, hey, girl. You know? <laughs> She's now popular. The thing about it, and that's what happens. The thing about it, you guys, it is not preserving who you really are. It's giving too much of yourself when you should be preserving your youth. You guys are young kids right now. Don't be grown. Don't be in the rush to be grown. And then also, when we go into social media, think about what we do on social media. We put all our business out there. How many of y'all know somebody, or it could be that somebody, that every time something happens, they put it on social media? Oh my God, my shoelaces is untied. If you want to talk about something, don't talk to the world. Talk to who? Your parents. And talk to who? Your parents. If you can't talk to your parent. Or please talk to a mentor or someone that you can trust because you cannot trust what's on social media. Don't allow other people around you to make you feel like they are the principle of making you feel better. It has to come from you. It can't be on social media. Knowing that, knowing that you're the reason. One of the reasons.